We have four different chambers. This allows us to take very small volumes, so very small, just a fraction of a drop, one sample to another. So those remains, 22,000 remains that have been recovered from Ground Zero, they experience the worst of conditions when it comes to DNA. So fire, jet fuel, diesel fuel, sunlight, water, mold, bacteria, all these things destroy DNA and they were all present at Ground Zero for the first time this year. We've uh, remains recovered back in 2001 that we're able to generate a DNA profile. We've tempted DNA on that many times. Wasn't good enough. The most advanced technology at the time wasn't good enough back then. When you're notified, it brings you back to that day. You know, just the horrific way that they died. But it also uh, gives you some solace that, that you're able to give your loved one a proper burial.